Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you some organization I did for one of my favorite Avalon Hill games called Panza Leader. And uh, I do have the STL files available on the Nerd Workshop. If you want to check that out, the nerdworkshop.com. I'll leave a link down below. But uh, this is an Avalon Hill uh, classic and enjoy this game a lot. Wanted to organize the pieces to make it easier for setup and, you know, get the game going as quickly as possible. So let's take a look inside and see what I did with it. And there's a little bit of a surprise here too because there's bonus games inside this too. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I organized my Panza Leader box here now. Um, Panza Leader is one of my favorite games of all times and I wanted to organize it uh, so that all my pieces fit in here. Now this is a used copy that I purchased, but in good shape. So, as you can see here, I have the U.S. Army, German Army, and I have a bunch of Korean War. Now, these are add-on pieces, uh, and I also have maps for them, but these are a separate game that uses Panzer Leader and um, Arab-Israeli War rules. So, but I wanted to put them all into this box right here. Uh, that seemed to be the space for them. You could put them in Panzer Blitz, uh, any of those, but... Panzer Leader also comes with some 1940 counters and uh, just different counters for different wars uh, add-ons that uh, the other people, private people, have expanded. So let's take a look inside each of these trays. Now, as you can see, the lids are partial way down. Uh, they go on tight enough to prevent everything, anything from falling out, but uh, not real difficult to take off. I found that when I go all the way down on the lids, they like all the way down on this tray if I made the lids fit all the way down here, uh, they were difficult to take off, so I just have them come part way like this. And uh, that seems to hold everything in place once the box is in there. It's made to fit so that when the box closes, it keeps all the lids on and in place. So I have the American Army here, and you can see that I have, you know, the carrier vehicles, the infantry, the uh, guns, and then, of course, all of my armed fighting vehicles and uh, cars here. Same way with the Germans. Some game pieces here on the German side, a couple here on uh, the Americans. My die fits in there. You could put your dice down here in the spacer if you wanted. This right here is just a spacer piece uh, that I made up so that it keeps everything from shuffling around too much in there. And of course, all of these are organized for the Korean War add-on. And um, there were a number of counters for that particular add-on, which you can see here. And some of these you could use in the actual game if you wanted to uh, here. Uh, there's some nice counters in there. But this is the way I have it organized. If you like the way that this is organized, you can purchase the STL files on my site, uh, the nerdworkshop.com. And uh, they're, not, they're not priced very high. I just basically have it to cover the uh, cost of the websites uh, per year so that that way I can just keep putting them up there uh, in case people wanted to do their own designs like this. So that's how I have it all organized. Underneath here um, you have all of your maps and everything else. These fit right on top. I like to put them on top of the manual because I, I think if the manual gets scuffed I'm not going to worry about it so much. I don't want to get the maps scuffed up so I don't put these on top of the maps. And as you can see, the lids fit on there really easy. They go in place relatively easy. They don't have to be super tight on there. Just tight enough to keep everything in place. And the box goes on. So that's how I organize Panza Leader and all of the counters that I have for that game. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe.